Hi everybody, Patrick here from Engineering Shock Electronics and EscapeRoomElectronics.com. Uh, this is the Fast RFID Reader Video Manual. In this video we're going to talk about uh, how to program the Fast RFID Reader Module, which takes no time at all, and we're also going to plug it into uh, our Arduino Uno, and we're going to run a basic program. Uh, all of the code uh, for the uh, fast RFID reader module and code for the Arduino Uno will be supplied at the end of the Kickstarter campaign which is linked below uh, and it'll all be commented so you can program uh, make changes to the program as you see fit so first things first let's talk about the jumper settings as you can see there's a, a four pin header right here which is our output header and then there's two three pin headers uh, and it's a little bit difficult to see but there's uh, jump header one and header two. We're not we're not using header two. We're only going to use header one. And underneath that, it says A slash B. A little bit difficult to see because it's a black piece of PCB. But right now, I've got the lower jumper selecting B. Let's just see if you can see. Uh, it's hard to see, but you can see A slash B right under the jumper. Uh, you want to make sure that one is selecting B, so the middle and right pins, and that'll place this into program mode. Now, right now, we don't need to. Uh, utilize the outputs we just need to power the board and the board takes 5 volts and the easiest way to do this is to plug into your uh, in your Arduino Uno and so there's, we're going to use the um, 5 pin, 4 pin header here but I'm also going to show you how to use the USB to do that uh, shortly. If you pledge towards the Kickstarter uh, you'll be supplied with uh, uh, basic connector cables and these are male to female and we're going to use uh, just two of the three wires just for power up so we're going to I'm going to take uh, it doesn't matter what wire but I'm going to take just for the sake of uh, color coding it I'm going to take a red and a black wire and I'm going to connect the uh, the black wire to GD which is the rightmost pin and the red wire to 5 volts which is second from the left and what's left are the D plus and D minus pins, but we're not going to worry about those right now. We're just going to power the board. We're going to want to connect our GD wire, our ground wire, to any one of the ground terminals on the Arduino Uno. Right here is fine. And we're going to want our uh, our 5 volt line to connect to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino Uno. And that's that. So now we're ready to program. So what I'm going to do is I am ready now to power up. I've got my jumper setting set to program mode, so I'm going to power it up. And as you might notice, the red LED, the power LED on the reader just turned on. So it's waiting for me to program in all five cards. So I'll, uh, it's got a great reading distance, by the way. I'm actually going to zoom up a bit or move the camera up a bit. It's got a great reading distance. So I'm going to take card one, put it over top of the reader, but more than two inches. And what you might have seen there is the green LED uh, turned on and then off, meaning that card has been programmed. Now card two. Card three, card four, and card five. And once that card five has been read, the fifth card, the green LED will stay on. Now what I want to do is I want to set um, header one to scanning mode, so I want to set it to A. So as you can see, I've set the jumper to select to short the middle and left pins. So uh, header one is now shorting A, which places us in scanning mode. So we can power up now, and it will look for cards. So I'll power back up again. There we go. And an incorrect card. Over top of the reader. Blink, blink, blink. That's an incorrect card. And it does send data to the output uh, an address of 6. Any incorrect card gets an address of 6, whereas the rest of the cards get an address of 1 through 5. So... This is card five. Is it recognized? You bet it's recognized. And it sends an address uh, through the single data pin to the Arduino Uno. We haven't hooked that up yet because there's actually two data pins that we're going to be using. Uh, one actually not used, but you can use it. It's there, so, uh, and I'm going to show you the data lines on my oscilloscope in, in just a minute. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to hook this, uh, the data pin up to the Arduino Uno, and we're going to get started on the basic program that reads cards and incorrect cards, which is seen in the uh, Kickstarter uh, uh, campaign video. So all of these cards will be red and and it, it will give us a green meaning that uh, it, it has read a correct card so this is card three, card two, card one. It's just that easy to program. It takes no time at all. So again an incorrect card. There you have it. So let's look at the data lines. There's two data lines labeled D plus and D minus on the output header right here. 
you absolutely do not need to do this. But for the sake of showing you how the data stream works, I'm going to show you. Uh, I've got my the D plus line right here scoped out on my oscilloscope. And what that does is when it reads a card, it sends a pulse. For every, uh, so for, for card one, it'll send one short pulse. For card four, it'll send four short pulses. Uh, card five, five short pulses. And uh, any, uh, any card that's incorrect sends uh, an address of six, six pulses. So let me quickly show you on the oscilloscope. Now keep in mind again that this is not nothing you need to concern yourself about because I've done all the work for you. Uh, and when we plug it into Arduino Uno, you just need to load your code. But right now I read five. So what I'll do is I'll read card two. And you'll see that there is just a, uh, two very short uh, five millisecond pulses. So card four, four pulses. An incorrect card will give us six pulses. Any incorrect card will give us six pulses. Now you might be wondering, what's the D minus line do? Just in case you want to change your programming, what you'll, what you'll notice is while we don't use it for Arduino Uno, the D minus line uh, goes from zero to five volts right before, like during a read, and uh, the D plus line sends the pulses. Once it's done sending, the D minus line goes from five volts back to zero volts, indicating the end of a read. So you don't need to do this. The code that I provided for Arduino Uno uh, doesn't use that line, the D minus line, but you can if you want. It's completely up to you. The code that I've provided with the Arduino Uno just counts the pulses and, when, and it's programmed to realize when it's done after a short time frame elapses after the last pulse. Again, it'll be commented uh, and you'll receive that code. You can read it. You can understand how it works once the Kickstarter campaign ends. So what I've done is I've connected the D1 pin, the leftmost pin closest to the USB, to the A1 pin on the Arduino Uno, the analog one pin. And that's all we need to do. So just to recap, we've powered the board, we've set our jumper to program mode, we programmed our five cards, we powered down, we set the jumper to scanning mode, we powered back up, and we've got uh, five cards saved to EEPROM memory. We've got it powered by the Arduino Uno, we've got our data line connected to, our, our D plus line connected to the A1 uh, pin of the Arduino Uno, and now we're ready to power up. The code is extremely short, extremely easy to understand. It's just a matter of calling a function, and it'll return with a value in an integer from 1 through 6 once a card has been read. So you open up your serial monitor, and it will say, fast RFID reader. So let's read card 1. Card 1 detected. Let's read card 5. Let's read card 3. Let's read card 2. And let's read card 4. And you can associate, and you can change the code as you see fit put names on there. So let's read an incorrect card. Incorrect card detected. Now that's all this program does, but it gives you enough to get started. I could I could change the the text in the code for instance to say, you know, Patrick Mitchell has been, you know, welcome Patrick Mitchell when card 1 is is detected by the reader or uh welcome Lana Mitchell when card 2 has been read. Uh and so you can change the code. It's so easy. To, the, the code is so simple on on especially on the Arduino Uno side. Uh, it's really just a matter of calling a function and uh, and re returning a value, and then what you do with that value is completely up to you. Uh, but it's just so incredibly easy to use, um, and the the reader itself can be used for so many different things. The uh, MFRC MFRC five two two. Uh, it can be used uh, in a ton of different ways. Uh, so really, there are a ton of examples on on. Uh, uh, with the uh, the library and so you can play around with it and change the program on the reader itself and speaking of which let's talk about that for a minute let's say you don't like my program or you want to change my program up on the reader itself no problem no problem at all this is an atmega 328PU chip same chip used in our Arduino Uno if you want to reprogram it just gently pop it off with a flathead screwdriver gently pop it off and you can just pop that into your Arduino Uno and reprogram it but let's say you want to reprogram constantly because you're, you're trying to prototype something else of yourself and you don't want to keep popping the chip out. That's fine too because there's an FTDI connector on the back of the board. And I'm actually going to show you a close-up of those pins and what they are right now. So what about USB? USB cables are com uh, come with some reward tiers, these bad boys. But, you know, a lot of people aren't going to have use for it. I designed that in for me because I like making escape room props, part of my business. Uh, but 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to extend this module out uh, using a USB cable, and I'll show you what's what. This is actually the top side of the board. We're not looking at it from the bottom side. Uh, the labelings, 5 volts, RST, reset, 0, 1, and ground, are actually covered by the socket. So keep in mind that we're looking at this from the top side of the board and not the bottom. So you'll notice the notch on the left side of the chip. Um, we've got 5 volts reset for the FTDI connector, uh, 0, which is uh, the RX line, uh, 1, which is the TX line, and uh, ground. So if you want to program uh, using the FTDI connection, it's right there for you. Otherwise, you can just pull the, pop, pull the uh, chip out and program it manually. We're obviously going to keep the female side intact so we can plug into the reader, but the male side, consider it gone. From here you can strip off some of the insulation using a stripper tool or with a knife. And you'll expose four wires. Green is D+, so green is what you'd really want for the Arduino script if you wanted to extend the board. Uh, red is 5 volts, black is ground, don't reverse those or else you'll, you'll fry your reader board. And white is D minus, so you can use the D minus pin, or if you choose, you don't you don't have to. It's completely up to you. So now we can extend our board out. You've now got a fast RFID reader module uh, extended by 1.5 meters or four feet. The fast RFID reader has six mounting holes, four on the reader and two on the processor board, and uh, and really, I can't wait to see what what uh, what pledges come up with because again once out of the box assuming you didn't get an assembly video or an, uh, a DIY kit version of this then you're ready to rock right out of the gates you'll have the code samples before you actually receive your reward tier because the code samples will be published to pledges at the end of this campaign so I plan on shipping these again six weeks after the campaign begins and this campaign began three days ago and we are have already hit our goal so thank you all to for, for uh, helping me to hit hit uh, hit our goal, I, I hope that you consider sharing this. I hope you found the video uh, helpful, um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good one.